Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel NASEC. Um, in today's video, I'm gonna introduce another OneDrive list app, which name is One Manager. This GitHub project shows you a way to deploy this app to Heroku, and then we can use it to list our OneDrive content. I add a little bit more in uh, Cloudflare so we can use our own domain to list the OneDrive content with list deployment to Heroku. In my previous video, create a serverless OneDrive index using Cloudflare Workers and GitHub page. There are two parts for that video, backend and frontend. It became more complicated. With this method, with this GitHub project, it's much easier. But you do need Heroku account and the Cloudflare account. So let's start it. Deploy this app into the Heroku is pretty easy. Just press this button, deploy to Heroku. And of course, you need to have an account. Uh, it's free. Um, you don't have to pay to get a paid account. You can use free account to do this job. I already have one. So I just need to log in. And um, you need to enter the app name. So I already deployed the OD1 before, so I do OD2. So the name is available. So you can choose region. Uh, you don't have to change anything else after you give names and just deploy app. So in two minutes, the app is going to be deployed to the Heroku, and then you can visit it. Of course, you have to um, do some customization to link your OneDrive account with your app. So let's see what is happening. We can choose view the like app. So that's the link, that's the name with uh, herokuapp.com. That's the URL. You're going to use it later on in our cloud fair. Um, click to install the project. So the project has been deployed in Heroku, but we need to customize it. So we need to select language. You can use different language here. Um, so there's API key. So what is API key? Um, let's say create Heroku app key so you, you can create a new one most likely I already created the one so I just need to copy it so you'll find it from your Heroku dashboard so you can regenerate it since I already using it I don't want to generate I just review it and then copy it over this is your Heroku key and then we need to set admin password. That admin password is you, is you use to manage your app. So when you log into the app, you're going to have an option to use this password to manage your site, set up some, uh, encrypt your the, the folder, uh, set up your theme, this kind of thing. Definitely, we have to set it up. I'm going to show you where you can check and change this key later. Submit. The app is saving the configuration. OK, so basically the website is up. This is one manager. But if, of course, we don't have our OneDrive account to link into this app yet, that's what we're going to do using login. And the password is the password we just typed in there. Login. You're gonna take a look at the setup first. So you can once you move your mouse to operate, you can do the setup. Here's the thing what I'm saying. Uh, you can change it, you can customize it, you can change the scene, and then you can enable the pass file. That's the password you're gonna set it up. I'm gonna show you that later on, but the, right now we're gonna do Add OneDrive disk. So you're gonna put the OneDrive disk tag, OneDrive show the name. Doesn't matter. You can, yeah. I just do 
you can put anything here test and then a natural ms one drive one drive for business usually we should list but if you went different area you get a share url you can choose uh, those two other options but right now i'm just using ms first option submit so in three seconds they're going to redirect you to the onedrive page uh, office 365 page to let you log in okay so here is the page i have in i'm going to use in my test account i'm going to log in so it's two-factor authentication so i'm going to enter the code i received it verify there's a token going to be generated and of course you need to give the permission for one manager to access accept that okay that's the token we need it okay we come back to here so right now it has been linked it it's a folder layer it's nothing but we do able to test it by uploading uploading some images and then we're going to verify from our onedrive folder going to sign in and look at our onedrive you can see that's the folder we have in our one manager and we should have two images in there caricature and the images it's working beautiful as long as you have this link you can show your onedrive content to the internet to the anyone the benefit for this app is you can put the password for it so then when you look at the operate manual there's encrypt but before we can put the password in here you need to set a pass file so then you can go to setup so there's a pass file name so usually I would just say pass file dash one change it to a different name just in case somebody else can guess the name out and then download that file for you set up refresh you also can change it to a different theme uh, right now we are using classic but you may want to use in ly underscore white let's see how it looks like back to home refresh let the page we got we have a different scene um, now we're gonna encrypt just put the password on this page uh, let's the thing we need to by clicking encrypt now we can type the password encrypt so it will save once we logged out to access this folder you need a password as you can see from here you will need a password to log in else you won't be able to get in there so we finished Heroku part we deployed uh, one manager app into Heroku and it's working fine now we're gonna go to the Cloudflare so in the Cloudflare I already logged in you have workers on the right so just click it previously I already created a couple of workers but then right now we need to create a new one let's name it as um, OD-2 same name as we have for our Heroku app we need to change this um, we need to copy the script to here to do the proxy kind of like a proxy using specified domain name to proxy to the Heroku website so I already put the script in my web page in the post of my blog blog.51sec.org you can search it or you can find out the 
the supposed guardian one manager. Um, if you go down, you will see the script in the Cloudflare section. Um, the latter one you need to copy. But you need to change the subdomain in the Heroku app com page at URL. So we were using od-2 that name. So we're gonna change it to this to match that. So save and deploy. Once you saved and deployed, you can open the page to take a look. It's working fine. And then we need to map our domain, our own domain to that. So that we have to go to our own domain. I have two domains. So I'm going to pick this one, 51sec.org. And uh, in you should have DNS name created first. Uh, you need to add a new record. So I'm going to do the same thing, OD-2. Uh, the IPv4 doesn't matter since we are not using it. We are using, we're gonna using workers route. We're gonna create in a workers route here. So this one, um, I have created three workers route. The od dot fifty one sec dog is the previous one. So I'm gonna create in a new one. Add the route. It's gonna be od dash two dot fifty one sec dog. And as terrorists calculator to create a dynamic patterns. So anything behind this domain gonna be copied over. So we're gonna connect it to OD-2 that worker. So anybody access OD-2.51sec.org, they will automatically reroute it to OD.2 worker. And the OD.2 worker gonna be to reverse proxy to the OD-2 hello coolapp.com this web page so that's the idea save it so done so that's all steps let's give a test create a new page od-2.51sec.org we are in we are here we can log in That's all we need to do. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it is helpful. And